we want to get started on the first round here of the finals for the Elite Grand Prix. Here's what tier we wound up in. Just got back into this game. Awesome. Been playing for quite a while here on the Nintendo Switch version. I know some people play on the mobile, some on the PC, some on Xbox. Yeah, I added to that somewhat recently. Whichever version you play, glad you could come and hang out this morning. It was good to play out a few months. That's good. You know, sometimes getting back into games like this can be somewhat tricky. Play on Switch. There you go. And you get to check out the Grand Prix events and the drafts and kit and all that as well. Cool beans. I managed to hit tier two this time around, which is quite typical. Gotten to tier one a few times, but. Usually I don't put in quite enough effort with the qualifiers to get much further along than that. Curious to know how far along you got. Well, I managed to get quite as far as the burning syndicate or burning pursuit. Got to the last stage of that, but wasn't able to get enough blueprints to actually upgrade the Bugatti LVN in order to participate in the final race there. Got this close to into the Citrion, but not quite. Just unlocked the Apex. Awesome. Actually, pretty nice car. It's one of them I was fortunate enough to have from the get go, so. Didn't have to upgrade that too much immediately, but I've actually been putting what few Syndicate coins I have left into trying to see if I can get just a few more blueprints to get it to its last star. Yeah, typically my favorite vehicles are the ones with smooth handling. Usually not the fastest ones, so it doesn't always help in certain types of races, but good, good. Actually, say, of the four vehicles that played through the I-8, everyone unlocked from the start. That was just a new vehicle outright that will manage to finish starring up. Car packs on it weren't particularly high price considered compared to the latter end one, so. This goes a literally fast car, but the hard part of it is getting it up to speed. Which I'm not doing a particularly good job at. Correct. Especially ones like Realm of Caribbean. Up oh, 360s. That one I forgot. Knew I was forgetting something. Sock is another good one that, that way. Even Nevada can get that way. It has a couple of really um, sharp hairpins. Depending on the variation of the track, they don't always go that same route. Vehicles like that are nice because they don't have as high an speed compared to something like the Jesco here, but Jesco, as I pointed out, has a hard time reaching that max speed, so if you have to keep doing a lot of turns, then your overall average speed in the race is significantly high. Those are vehicles like the Apex or the Lamborghini, Evo, Hurricane. Slow down a lot more in those turns that time. don't have as high top speed but they can reach that speed a lot more consistently so I would do 360s this time Oop. too much air off that yeah I know Especially ones with that like drift super wide, 
Reaper, it's nice with certain cars like the Jesco or the Bugatti, which being at S class, they can get re really high top speeds, but they still corner really well. So, also means they lose a lot of speed when they corner, but beats slamming to the wall. <laughs> In playing spout since it first launched on the Switch, so I guess close to two years. I don't remember the exact date it launched on the Switch. It will be more than a year anyway. Not quite day one, it's probably about a week or so after it released before I got around to playing it, but pretty consistent ever since. Only been streaming for eh, a little over a year, probably almost a year and a half by now. Yeah, close to a year and a half. So that would mean Asphalt 9's been at least out that long. Yeah, three runs in anyway. Can't get too much pack ass on the S class vehicles. But that's typically fine because with a lot of the elite Grand Prix, you can usually put in as many attempts as you want. Out of here. That works out just fine. Still got plenty of stuff to check out. Then you know that's probably since July is when they've done a couple of the different shifts to the game. They started. Early on in the game, they didn't have the whole season system that they do now, where they have like season passes and they're kind of theme with the different special events they have. Full throttle season is what they're doing now with the Switch version. Just finished up the previous season before that and had one for the American season, I think, was the one before that. They one for the Porsche season. I don't remember what all they did. Use anything we didn't practice anyway. Ah, I missed American season. Yep, added a couple different vehicles with that one. Yeah, I did too. Fortunately, that was wasn't a drive syndicate event, but it was a special event vehicle. But you still needed a key to get it, so I wouldn't didn't have quite enough of the cars to be able to earn it from the event because you had to do 100% of the different track challenges in order to get the key reward at the end but they did have it as a prize pack from the shop at the time now we can finish checking out the Elite grand prix get those practice runs done anyway it's unlikely i'll put too much extra time into committing extra times it's draining after a long period of time. That's nonsense right there.
a super weird bounce off of that. One more. <laughs> Very slowly accumulate those extra blueprints. Actually gotta do one more practice just to knock out the remaining fuel on it. Doing those 360s through there. Of course, if you only need it to work once, then whatever. Yeah, I think our actual submitted times a little bit faster than that, too. Right. 235, yeah. Imagine anything I did in practice. 